line it up to the best of your abilities. Now let's take our cover right here. When we press this down, the cover is going to fling off. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the AMD Ryzen 7 7700X Unlocked Desktop Processor. If you're interested in the CPU or you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging right here. It's small, it's compact, everything looks great. Please note that no cooler is included with this CPU. So you are just getting a CPU that consists of eight cores, 16 threads, 5.4 gigahertz max boost for your speeds, and a 4.5 gigahertz base. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature walking us through installation and warranty information. Next, we have the CPU itself. So here's our AMD Ryzen 7 7700X with our AMD sticker. Take a look at the back side here. Now let's go ahead, let's get the CPU installed. So the motherboard we're gonna be using today is the MSI MPG. This is the B650 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard with AM5 socket. The most important thing for you is to use a motherboard that has the AM5 socket. So keep that in mind. Now we're ready to get it installed. You'll notice on our cover right here, we have this little triangle in the top left-hand corner. So that's what we need to pay attention to on our CPU as well. So on our CPU, on the 7700X, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, we have our little triangle. It's a golden triangle, if you can see that. And we gotta line it up with the triangle on our motherboard, gonna be top left corner. We also have a little mark on here, little circle as well, but let the triangle be your guide. And then we just go ahead, we open this up. This will come up too. So let's get our cover up. And now again, triangle to triangle. There's actually a triangle on the inside too, in case for some reason your cover's in the wrong position. Be careful not to bend any pins or anything like that. Just gently line it up to the best of your abilities, just like so. It should be nice and snug, right? It's not gonna come loose or anything like that. So don't force it in, but we have it in. Now let's take our cover right here and watch what happens when we press this down. The cover's gonna fling off which is perfect, that's exactly what we want. And now we have our AMD Ryzen 7 7700X CPU installed. To remove the CPU, just repeat those steps in reverse order. Left up this lever again, pull the cover off, and just gently remove your CPU. All right, so our PC's built. We used the Height Y70 case right here. Really like this case and the aesthetic of the panoramic glass panels on the front and the side. Now that everything's up and running, let's dive in and look at the CPU in more details. First up, we have CPU Z on the display right now. I'm gonna click through each tab. Feel free to pause the screen to look at any additional specs. First up, we have all of our processor information right here. Then we have our motherboard. We're using the MPG B650 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard from MSI. I really like that board. Here's our memory. So we got 32 gigs of DDR5 in our build. Here's the SPD tab for you. Graphics tab, we have the MSI 3070 Ti installed in our build. And then we have our benchmarking section. So we got a single thread score of 759 and a multi-thread score of 7779. 0.3. Now let's compare that to other CPUs. So our single thread scores highlighted on the chart right here. We're definitely in the top range here competing with Intel's best of the best, the 13900K, followed by the 13700K, and we have the 12900K, KF, and KS all neck and neck right there. Our first AMD CPU is gonna be the 7950X. As expected, that's gonna be above our 7700X, but very close right here with some really fantastic CPUs from both AMD as well as Intel. Multi-thread shows very similar results here. This is just four 16-thread CPUs. So the 12K, KF, and KS are up at the top. Then the 7700X, that's our first AMD showing. They actually got a higher score than we did, 79.73. We came in at 77.79. So we're neck and neck with the Intel 12 700K in regards to performance. That's gonna be your best bet for a nice solid comparison. 
and it edges out the 12600K, the 5800X from AMD, 11900K, 5700G from AMD. So you get the idea there. Well within range for top Intel CPUs from 11th and 12th gen, as well as edging out previous 5000 series CPUs from within AMD's own lineup. Next, we tested it with Cinebench R23. And here is our multi-core score. We got a score of 1867.1 and a single core score of 1976. The ranking at the bottom is currently for multi-core scores. And we're coming in very close to the Intel 13600K in regards to performance. And single core is the same way. So up at the top is the 13900K followed by the 13600K. And then in third place, we have our 7700K with a score of 1976. So just a little bit below the 13600K in performance for multi-core. We can't forget about Geekbench 5. We're showing a single core score of 2096 and a multi-core score of 1337.2. Let's check out the rankings as well to see where we stack up. Looking at the single core charts, they have a pretty remarkable score for the 7700X. You'll notice they got a score of 2874. That's about 800 points greater than the score that we were able to capture and measure ourselves. So up at the top, you have the 13900 CPU. That really is the CPU to beat across all different variants. Then we have AMD 7950X, followed by the 7700X, which is really interesting that it actually beat out the 7900X. So this one's trading blows with the 13700 and actually with its very own 7900X from the data that you're seeing right here. Multicore tells the same story. The 13900 CPU is the king across all variants and versions. Then we have the 7950X. We actually have some Threadripper Pro CPUs now making the mix here and the 7900X outpacing the 7700X. You'll also notice in this case, the 13700 in multiple variants is also beating the 7700X. So further down, we're pretty evenly matched with a Threadripper Pro, the 12900K and the 12900KS with a score of 15272. That's still about 2000 points greater than we were able to get with our very own scores using the Geekbench 5 tests. Now let's talk about CPU temps. So currently we're maxing out our 7700X with Cinebench using the multi-core test and we did peak at the threshold of 95 degrees Celsius. That's set up and limited by the CPU itself from my understanding. So that's well within range. You should not be able to exceed that at least by default with the 7700X. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna be really stressing and pushing the CPU nonstop, this is what you can expect in regards to performance. 100% utilization and it's gonna cap you at 95 degrees Celsius. Here are my final thoughts in regards to the AMD 7700X CPU. Fantastic option for gamers and content creators out there, but I do want to point out that if you're just looking for a gaming CPU, maybe for a mid-range build, things like that, save a couple extra bucks, pocket that cash, upgrade your system elsewhere, and just stick with the 7600X. But if you're not just gonna game and maybe you're gonna do some content creating, video editing, any other demanding CPU heavy and intensive task with your computer, then spend the extra few dollars, get those extra cores and threads. That's where it's gonna make a difference. You're not really gonna push any extra FPS values that would be noticeable, in my opinion, over the 7600X. But having those cores and threads for video encoding, rendering, things like that, then you'll appreciate the extra boost you get with the CPU.